Let's move away from crime and let's take you to the president because he has described as unnecessary the recent controversy surrounding the attempt by the Social Security and National Insurance Trust, SNIT, to sell off some of its stakes in some hotels. Now, SNIT, after coming under heavy criticism from the public and workers' union, suspended its decision to sell some of its hotels to Rock City Hotel, owned by Greek Minister Brian Echampo. A central regional correspondent, Calvus Tet again. President Akufuado, speaking at the 12th Quadrennial Delegate Conference of the Trades Union Congress held at the Pentecost Convention Center in Gumuafete in the central region, indicated that the move by SNIT to sell off some non-performing assets was a step in the right direction. The trust had argued and maintained strongly that the sale was crucial given that the listed hotels were not making profits. The president described as unnecessary the controversy that was recently generated by SNIT's effort to offload non-performing assets in its hotel portfolio. The president who maintained that SNIT under the current management is making a profit from its assets compared to previous times as the trust recently announced a surplus of $213 million and considering the aborted transaction as the only occasion in recent history that external investors expressed interest in investing in SNIT assets called on workers to be measured in their decision and pronouncement that will affect the long-term interest of pensioners. In particular, the improved performance of SNIT, which recently announced a surplus of 230 million CDs on its operations. This should be reassuring to organized labor and perhaps bring into sharper relief the unnecessary controversy that was recently generated by SNIT's efforts to offload non-performing assets in its hotel portfolio. It is my understanding that the transaction that was aborted represented the only occasion in recent history of SNIT that external investors sought to invest in SNIT's holdings. Despite the challenges facing our nation, it is natural for trade unions to advocate for better conditions of service for their members. As a government, we ask only for moderation, taking into account global events and their impact on our local economies. The leadership of Trade Unions Congress touted its achievement over the past seven years, urging members to remain resilient. In 2021, at the 11th Quadrennial Delegates Congress, we adopted policies on a number of important areas, including the following. A policy on gender equality, a policy on worker-centeredness, a policy on organizing, grassroots participation, education, training, social protection, pensions, housing for workers, labor relations, social dialogue, and unity at the trade union front. President Akufuado has waded into the controversies surrounding the sale of SNIT hotels. He's urging Ghanaians to exercise some patience. Carvestete, Channel One News, Goma Fete. <laughs>